Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the uh, gunshot effect in Adobe After Effects CS 5.5. Um, so we'll just take a look at what we're creating here. And yeah, that's basically it. So if we just look through it here, we have me opening the door, kind of kicking it open and then it bobbling back. And then we have the first shot, and as you can see, the most of our last two frames, and it's got that lighting effect um, in the smoke. And then we also have the uh, the other, the second flare, and then some more smoke. And then we have this one, which I think honestly looks really crappy. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna teach you how to make this. Oh, and by the way. I had to use two elements from the Action Essentials to make this. Um, I had to use the flare itself and to add some particle smoke. So let's uh, let's get down to it. Um, so what we have here is my my original footage. So we dropped it down into a new comp. And first attempt, I shot one shot. I meant to do more than one. So let's just go here. So as you saw in the video, I only I did three shots, but for this tutorial I'm just gonna do two shots. So trimming it down, composition, trim comp to work area. And then here we go. So what we want to do first is we wanna find a flare that will work and it's gotta be kind of sideways ish. Now I found I have mine on action essentials too which includes the smoke but if you want to you can go on google images or basically anywhere to find one any effects stock footage website um... you can do that and for the smoke you can just use a firecracker or find another stock footage website that's free so what i'm doing here is i'm finding the first frame right before i shoot or pull the trigger that'd be right here at this moment so i'm going to drop down my first flare that i have muzzle flash eleven And we'll drop it down. We're gonna bring it down up to the thing. And if you're using an image, you want to scale it down to about uh, scale it down on this on the timeline to two frames or one. Some people use two or one. You know, whatever works. Not my decision. Uh, so some looks a little too too narrow. So I'm gonna get a little kind of thicker. Okay, all looks good. Move it down to here and there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the second one. We'll do the same thing we did. Find the first frame in which we shoot. Kind of hard to see. Right there. We're gonna import the second one. Muzzle flash twelve. And bring it here. And this one looks perfectly scaled this size wise, but I am gonna rotate it and get it right. I wonder why this flare always is hard to get it right. Scale it down a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty fine. So here we have it. There. Now not done yet. See in the thing we had the uh the uh lighting, so that's what we're gonna do work on now. Uh, oops. Where's my cap? There it is. Okay, so what I did was I took the first layer, press control D or I can press edit duplicate, switch to blending mode to add and uh oh, excuse me. Okay, uh, okay, so basically what this does is it um lightens up the video a lot and makes the flare look crappy but that's fine we'll fix that in the future um but basically what we want to do is line it up to the flare and then click on the duplicated layer get the uh the pen tool or press g um and mask around the areas in which the light would be affected so the wall behind it maybe a little bit of my arm here
Okay, then we're going to press on it, press MM, which will open both masks. Give yourself some room here. And we're going to feather them out. Okay, there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe them so they will uh, fit the video. And uh, the then they'll work. So what we're going to do is we're going to frame back sw and keyframe the mask opacity on both of them to zero. Then we're going to go ahead, one frame, bring it back up to 100, and then go ahead two frames and make them fade out. Now if you're doing one frame, you're going to make the light go out, you know, one frame ahead. But this one's going to fade out, frame out, fade out, uh, two frames, yes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to the next frame and do the same thing. And... Maybe uh, fix the. Nah, okay. You see, mine is uh, kind of slanted here. You know, yeah, I'm gonna fix that. So we have to keyframe the mask path and bring a little more room here. Okay. There we go. Just had to fix that. Okay, now um, now we're gonna keyframe the opacity back up to 100. Now, as you can see, from here all the way to here, it fades up, and then then it does that. So to fix that, we're gonna go frame back, and we're gonna switch the opacity back to zero. If you know all about keyframes, you know you should have done that before. But I just reminded you now. Whatever. Um, okay, so now we have it at 100, frayed out two frames, back to 0% on the opacity, and there. Okay, now, now I'm going to do a completely optional step right here. So I'm going to bring my time indicator to the flash, and I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Now, I like to kind of brighten it up a little. You know, not too much as to where it looks super unrealistic, but kind of a little brighter. I mean, the cover is fine now, it just doesn't exactly fit the scene right. Okay, so now we're going to go to the second one. Brighten that up too a little bit. Oh, oops. Oh, crap. <laughs> Messed up there. Okay, I meant to cl you have to click on the next one and then go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. There we go. Okay, now we're going to brighten that up a little bit. I'm still on the second one. Yep. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, right about there, it sounds looks good. Boom, boom. Okay. Now that is looking good. Now what we need is the sound effect. Um, what I did was I went on Google and I searched up pistol sound effect, and I found I found the Beretta M9 sound effect from a website. I don't remember the name of it, but I'm sure if you Google search it, you'll find it. If you find the right website, look for a Beretta M9. They should have a free download. Uh, so let's bring it down. And I know Action Essentials has one, but I don't really like it that much. So we'll bring it to the uh, muzzle flash. Drag it down to the time indicator so it lines up. Go to the next one. And then click on the sound effect. Press Control D. And then bring that one to the time indicator in which you need it. And then construct a RAM preview. Okay, that looks pretty good. So with the flares, though, they kind of look like they need to be rotated a little. But, yeah, you can do that. Um, so, yeah, if you want to be a little more fancy, maybe you could uh, cast a shadow in which the flare may cast it. And also, you can make the thing go back. Unless you have a gas blowback airsoft gun, then which you won't have to do that. Or using a real gun. Don't use a real gun. Um, I would have uh, done that effect where I make it go back, but I can't, seeing that there's this 
shadow right here that'll mess it up big time. So uh yeah. So it looks pretty good. Um so yeah, thanks for watching. Um if you want to get down what if you, you want to get extra essentials, I really recommend buying it or illegally getting it or selling your body parts for it. I don't care whatever you do to get it. Just it's, it's a suggestion to get it. Um but uh yeah, thanks for watching. Um if this helped you, like it. Leave a comment if you have any problems, and subscribe for more After Effects tutorials. Peace.